Australopithecus has three basic features skull and bone uh, brain features dental features and postcranial features so all of them will be studied one by one first of all we'll start with skull and brain in skull and brain the first is cranial vault the cranial vault is high and expanded then we'll move on to the next uh, that is forehead forehead uh, there are two features related to forehead one is it is higher or rounded and well uh, well developed forehead and also the forehead is receding the next feature is bro ridge bro ridge is poorly developed with a notable post orbital constriction behind then the facial part is longer than cranial part then we'll move on to next which is the inside of brain or a brain cerebral cortex cerebral cortex ex is expanded which shows that they had some form of symbolic communication and cerebellum increased cerebrum cerebellum allowed fine control of movements during locomotion and manipulation of hand then next is mastoid process which is medium uh, which is slightly developed then we have temporal fossa which is medium sized after temporal fossa we have this uh, zygomatic uh, zygomatic arch so the zygomatic arch is moderately large and well developed then we have the foramen magnum foramen magnum is downward which indicates the erect posture posture of australopithecines we'll move on to the dental features dental features most of uh, these features are related to australopithecus africanus so dental features in dental features dental arcade is parabolic in shape and without a simian shelf just like humans other features are related to incisors and canines then premolars premolars and molars premolars and molars so in a uh, dental arc i already told you it's parabolic and it has no simian shelf and it resembles human incisors and canines are small and project and slightly projected slightly slightly projected and premolars they are large and uh, they are also bicuspid just like modern man molars are large so these are four dental features then we have moved we'll move on to the postcranial features in postcranial features the first fe feature is they are bipedal they have probably bipedal locomotion so bipedal probably next feature is presence of lumbar curve lumbar curve in the backbone which again shows that they have bipedal locomotion then move up on to ilium ilium is broadened so broad ilium then uh, we have the femur femur f femur has a linea aspera on it so linea aspera is for the attachment of muscles linea aspera linea aspera so it's for attachment of muscles another feature uh, which is again related to femur is the it has a it has a torsion angle torsion angle the next is knee knees straight so straight knees another feature and then we'll move down to the ankle bone which is used to bear the height of the body ankle bone bears the weight or height of body and then we'll move on to the feet feet has developed arches arches are like just like we have lines on our palm and sole so they also had 
arches on palm and soles so this is the last feature so I have explained all the three features so that's it and if you want to see the notes so that you have a better idea let's check out what's there in notes so the feature they have some other features like height weight which have I have mentioned on these notes University. cranial vault is high and expanded facial part is longer than cranial part with slight proxenthism so all these features I have already told you and just to recap of these cranial features so they have moderate uh, they have medium sized temporal fossa higher or rounded and well developed forehead forehead two features there is also one feature of receded forehead the mastoid process is slightly developed so they have well developed zygomatic arch and it is moderately large poorly developed pro ridge with a no travel post orbital constriction behind a receding forehead foramen magnum expanded several cortex which is for symbolic communication increased cerebellum for fine control of movement then done dental arcades are parabolic without cement shelf and it resembles human small incisors and canines with slight projection showing that they were largely vegetarians and the premolars are large and bicuspid molars are also large they were bipedal lumbar curve broad ilium femur with linear spell on it for attachment of muscles straight knees the ankle bone used to be at the height of the body developed arches in the foot so this is program you can see and remember i hope this video will help you subscribe for more information thank you